today is 24th of April. So let's remember what did we learn about yesterday? Lion. We learned about long E sound. Yeah, long E sound. Very good. Who can remember some words with long E? Alex. C. C, very good. Like, I go to the C. Well done. Anyone else remembers a long E word? Jason. T. T, give me a sentence. I drink a tea. Very good. I drink a tea. Well done. Let's have one more. Who's got their hand up? Big splash. B. B, give me a sentence. I see a B is pollinating. Wow, I see that the bee is pollinating. Very good. I see that the bee is pollinating. Okay, so that was yesterday's lesson. We did phonics day two. And today, let's start by checking our homework. So everyone should have done the quiz. Okay, our scoreboard, let's have a look. These are the fastest students and the students who got 10 out of 10. So after Potato, Big Splash, Leo, Lion, Rio, Lily, Leo again. Okay, you can see your name. Some people did it twice. Well done, you all got a very high marks. Very good. Okay, let's check the quiz. Perry was number one, so you can go first. <laughs> Okay, can you see? Number one. Number one. And what does it say? Three. Three. Very good. Number one is three. Okay, good job, Perry. What is this one? Uh, ben. Uh, here. 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 Okay, how, which number? One, two, or three? Number one. Number one. Very good. Number one. Okay, who is next? The Robert. Hello, Robert. Yes. Hello. Hello. What is the correct answer? Beach. Beach. Number one, two, or three? Um, two. Number two. Very good. Beach. Well done, Robert. Okay, let's see. Pony. Hello. Hello, Miss Claire. Hello. Okay, are you ready for number four? Yes. Okay. Number four, what is it? A sheep. A sheep. How do I spell it? Number one, two, or three? Number three. Number three, sheep. Okay, number five. Lily, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, number five. C. C, number two? Yeah. Good. Well done. Excellent. Okay, next one, number six. Susie. Hello, Susie. Okay, tell me the answer for number six. Seat. A seat. Number one, two, or three? One. One. Well done. Number one. Okay, next one. Let's see. Hello, Rico. Okay, number seven. Tell me the answer. I'm a crane. What does it say? Yeah. Here. Okay. Good Here job. Are six. Okay, let's see who is next. Uh, who hasn't had a turn yet? John. Hello, John. Are you there? Yes. Okay. Tell me the answer. Sleep. Sleep. Very good. Sleep. The girl is sleeping. Very good. Okay. Number eight. Hello, Jeffrey. Tell me the answer. C. Number two. Number two. No, number two. C. Very good. I see with my eyes. C. And the last one, number 10. Who oh, hasn't had a turn? Thomas, are you there? Yeah. Okay, tell me the answer. Delete number one. Good, delete. Very good. Tell everyone again, Thomas, what does delete mean? It means we have a photo, then we delete it, mean we 
give it away. Well, very it's good. Pretty. It means we get rid of it, yeah? We get rid of something if we delete yeah. it. Good job. Well done. Okay, so that's the end of our quiz. Well done, everyone who did it. And let's go back to our lesson, see what we will learn today, okay? So today we are going to move on to doing vocabulary. Vocabulary day one. So that means we are going to learn the words to know from lesson 17, okay? From your journeys book, lesson 17. So let's have a look at the first one. Who can do this one for me? Look to Ang. There. There are many ways to travel. Travel. Safe. Safely. Safely. Again, safely. Safely. Better. Well done. There are many ways to travel safely. Travel, if you don't know this word, travel means to go somewhere, okay? I travel to Thailand or I travel to Da Nang. It means I go to another place, okay? So what's the new word here uh, to act? There. There, very good. Let's have a look and see what there means. Uh, what does it say? Robert, what does it say? A word that is used to mean that something can be found. Good, very good. So there, tell me a sentence, Robert, with there. There are many treasure in the garden. Wow, very good. There are many, what did you say? Many what? Treasure. <gasps> many treasures. Very good. There's a lot of treasures in the garden. There's a lot of treasure in the garden. Very good. There's a lot of treasure in the garden. Okay, so that's our first word, number one. Number two, what does it say, Alex? Okay, very good. Wear a helmet when traveling by bike. Do you wear a helmet, Alex, when you go on your bicycle? Yes. Yeah, good. And what's our new word? Bye. Bye, very good. So let's have a look and see what bye means. Uh, let's have a look, pony. A word that means with the help of. Okay, with the help of something. Tell me a sentence with bye, pony. I buy carrots. And I buy fruits and vegetables. So this is another meaning of buy, a different kind of buy. Okay. If you buy something, then we spell it like this. Let me show you, Pony. B-U-Y. Okay. I buy carrots or I buy apples. Then I spell B-U-Y. But this one is something else, only B-Y. Okay. Pony, do you understand? A little bit? Let's see if someone can help you. Who can help Pony tell me a sentence with bye? A bye, big splash. Um, I go to my grandpa's house by my daddy car. Very good. I go to my grandparents' house by car or by my dad's car. Well done. It means that you go there with the help of something. So this one is buy. Don't get it confused with B-U-Y. This means to buy something, to buy something at the shop. Okay, number three, sure. Jason. Be sure to bucket your stop it. Okay, listen. Be sure to buckle your seatbelt again. Be sure to buckle your seatbelt. Good. Do you know what it means? Buckle your seatbelt? Yes. What does it mean? Okay. But explain to me in English. What does it mean? What do I do? We bucket to... You can show me. How do I do it? Show me. What do I do with my hand? We do it, man. Yeah, that's it. We pull the seatbelt down across your body and you lock it into the plug, yeah? 
so that we go safety. Very good, so that we are safe and we don't go forward if the car breaks suddenly, okay? Well done. So be sure, new word is sure. Uh, Thomas, you can read this one. To feel certain about something. Good, to feel make certain. A sentence. Yeah, make a sentence. Um, I am sure every time. Ten. Ah, okay, I am sure every time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, very good. I am sure every time. Very good. Or I am sure of the answer. It means you are certain. You know you are correct. Okay, sure. Next one. Let's see. Leo, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Could. You could walk to the bus with a buddy. Very good. You could walk to the bus with a buddy. Yeah. What is a buddy? A buddy? Who knows what a buddy is? I know. Uh, I know. Okay, tell me, Leo. Buddy is someone. Yeah, it's a friend. Another word for friend. It's like when we say pal. Remember the word pal? Yeah. Yeah, okay. so we can say pal, friend, or buddy. It all means the same. Okay, what's my new word? Potato, are you here? Yes. Yeah, come on, sit up. Okay, what's my new word here? Could. Could, okay. Can you read this one, the blue? Uh, what you, you, you mean you can or might do something? Very good. A word you use to mean you can or might do something. Can you tell me a sentence for could, Potato? I could. Listen, eat ice cream. Again, I could? Eat ice cream. I could eat ice cream. Very good. I could eat ice cream. Anyone else have a sentence for could? How about Rio? I could play on the beach. I could play on the beach. Very good. I could play on the Yay. beach. So it means you might do it or you can do it. Okay? It doesn't mean that you are definitely going to do it. For example, I can say, I could go outside if it wasn't raining, okay? Or I could eat my lunch if I was hungry. So it means I might do something. Okay, number five. Who would like a turn? How about Lily? John. Stand. I cannot see. Okay, it says don't stand while the school bus is moving. Don't stand while while the school bus is moving. Very good. Don't stand while the school bus is moving. What's the new word, Lily? Don't. Don't. Very good. And don't means the word do and not made into one word. Okay. So if I have, let me show you. If I have do and I have not, I can put them together and it means, and it says don't. Okay. So I can say, do not stand up, or I can say, don't stand up, okay? It just makes it a little bit shorter, but it's the same as do not. Who can tell me a sentence with don't? Jason. Don't walk to street without parent. Very good. Don't walk, did you say on the street? Two. Ah, two. Okay. Don't go to the street without your parents. Yeah. Very good. Don't go to the street without your parents. Very good. Another sentence with don't. Jeffrey. I don't like this candy. That's very good. I don't like this candy. Well done. Thank you, Jeffrey. 
Okay, everyone, we're nearly finished. We have three more words and then we can play a game, okay? You're doing very well. Okay, let's check. Okay, number six, Susie. A car should always stop at a stop sign. Very good. A car should always stop at a stop sign. Let me hear this word, Susie. Sign. 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 Good. The G is silent, okay? We don't hear the G. And it sounds like S I N E. It sounds like this sign. Sign. That's better. Well done. Sign. Okay. What's my new word, Susie? Car. Car. Good job. Who knows what a car is? Dan, do you know what a car is? Yes. Tell me. A car is. You can circle the car on the screen. Do you want to do that? Everyone circle the car. Very good. Okay. So tell me a sentence then with the word car. See Ben. My car is very big. My car is very big. Well done. My car is very big. Okay. And who else can tell me a sentence? with car. Hello, John. Where are you? Hello. Hello. Hello, Miss Ben. Hello. Tell me a sentence with car. Here is my new car. Very good. That's an excellent sentence. Here is my new car. Very good. So a car, everyone, a machine that moves on wheels and is used to drive from place to place. Okay. Okay, next one, let's have, hello, Lion. Hello, Miss Claire. Hello, okay, read this one for me. Number seven. Miss children, I don't see. Okay, it says, these children know about bike safety. These children know about bike safety. Good. What's the new word here? About. about. Very good. Okay. So let's check what about means. A word you use when you are speaking or thinking about something. Who has a sentence for about? Leo, give me a sentence for about. I am thinking about what we will learn today. Very good. I am thinking about what we will learn today. Good job, Leo. Okay, about. I think you all know this one. We have one more, everyone. Last one. Maybe. Maybe you can help someone be safe. The new word is maybe. And what does maybe mean? It means something that might happen. Okay, something that might happen. Tell me a sentence with maybe. Potato, hello. Hello. Hello, tell me a sentence with maybe. Hi, maybe I will play in the house. Good, maybe I will play in the house. Good job. It means you might do something and you might not. Okay? Okay, so that's all of our words. Good job. You did very well, and now we can play the game. Are you ready? Yes? Okay. Okay, remember how you play this one? We have to pick a fish, okay? And then we have a question. Rico, you can go first? Yes. Okay, ready? Yes. Choose a fish. Choose the white one. The white one. Okay, what does it say? Choose a word to complete the sentence. Maybe we can go outside today. Very good. Maybe we can go outside today. So my answer is 
Maybe. Maybe. Good job. Maybe we can go outside today. Well done, Miko. Okay. <laughs> Let's have Rio. Where is Rio? Who's a fish? The golden one. The golden one. This one here. Okay. I. I am. I am sure that I saw a rainbow. I am sure that I saw a rainbow. Let's check. Yay! I am sure that I saw a rainbow. Well done. Good job, Rio. Okay, next is Dan. Are you ready, Dan? Yes. Okay, choose a fish. Blue. The blue one. The dog is from this, uh, from his side. Are you sure? Try again. The dog is my. Good. Full sentence. The dog is by his side. Good. The dog is by his side. It means the dog is beside him. Can you see in the picture, Dan? Yes. Yeah. The dog is beside me or the dog is by me. It's by my side. Very good. Good job, Dan. Okay. Susie, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Choose a fish. The yellow one. The yellow one. Don't walk around in a bus. Very bu good. Very good. Don't walk around in the bus. It means don't be getting up out of your seat and walking around. Good job, Susie. Well done. Okay. Who is next? Uh, John. Hello, Miss Gray. Hello. Choose a fish. A green one. The green one. Let's catch him. Okay, what does it say? Animal are over there. Good, the animals are over there. Good job, John. Well done. Okay, let's try one more. Who's going to be my last player? Big Splash. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, choose a fish. Um, I think I choose... The, the top one. The top one, this pink one? Yes. Okay, wait for him to come back. And catch him. Okay, we? We go... I didn't know that word. For, we go for... We a, go for a drive in the car. Good, we go for a drive in the car. Oh, these car. fish are the naughty fish. They're naughty fish, are they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one more. Perry, are you ready? Okay, choose a fish. We have this one or the orange? This one. This one, okay. I. I could, could go swimming today. Very good. I could go swimming today. Game over, everyone. Well done. Okay. Let's go back and I will show you the homework. So tonight we have a quiz. Okay, make sure you use the correct code. Your code is this one, 1E9, and there are eight questions, okay? And let's see, what did we learn about today, everyone? Let's recap. It means remember what did we learn about today. We learned eight new words about, don't, by, maybe, car, sure, could, and there. Okay. So that was our new words today. Well done, everyone. You did very well. Okay, everyone. That's the end of the lesson. Let's take a... Bye! 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 B